We are back here on Girl Talk, and I am so excited to be at the Hilton Head Humane Association with, a, with Executive Director Franny Gerthofer. It, this is so exciting to be on campus here. I know. I'm so glad you're here. There are so many cute little furry friends, mm -hmm. and we're going to showcase some in this segment. We're also going to just talk about what you have here. It's great to be on location. You're a great Talk of the Town partner. You get to come on Talk of the Town every month. We get to see the different pets that you've got mm -hmm. available and hear about special events and things. Mm -hmm. But it's so nice to be here on location and see the campus. Isn't Tell it wonderful? Us about what is here. It's well, awesome. Well, it has it has actually changed over in the last 10 years. We've done renovation every year, so we've been able to use every part of the campus now. And we can hold about 225 animals, cats and dogs, puppies and kittens. But our outdoor kennels hold the um, dogs for adoption, and we have three buildings for cats. And then, of course, the friend of the week, and then our adoption center also holds adoptable animals. So, I mean, when people come here, we just let them roam around campus, kind of take a look around, and then if they find somebody that they like, then we assist them further. But it's, it's really a nice place to come visit, walk around, and then we encourage people to bring their own pets with them in case they do find someone and they want to do a meet and greet. Ah, that's a great idea. Yes, we have two huge acquaintance yards where we can um, put animals together and just really give people a feel of how they'll get on. So it's exciting. That's perfect. You've got an awesome staff, mm -hmm. and of course we've got some your little friends. Yes. This is Stormy. Stormy. Tell us Stor Stormy's story. Stormy came to us owner relinquished. An older dog has a, a little bit of a trachea problem, so has a constant chronic cough, um, but very adoptable, you know, with a little bit of medical precaution and medicine. Mm -hmm. So we are really hopeful that somebody out there would be interested in a little dog like this. Um, housebroken, loves other animals, you know, it, and he's actually become our office dog, so he's our official it. greeter. Yay, <laughs> and don't be intimidated by the cough. I've got a little dog at home that has the same exact thing. I think it's kind of a, a set thing that can be mm -hmm. can come controlled. up in little dogs, but it's very controlled. Yes. Um, just so sweet. What a sweet disposition. Oh. We've got, Melissa's got Swissness. <laughs> This is our friend of the of yes. The week. This is Swiss Miss. Hi, our Hi, friend of the week, girl. So we'll put her we'll put down. Put her down. Yes. Hi, Peanut. This is a beagle mix. Yes, and she came to us from um, she came to us Thanks, from Melissa. Beaufort County. Very friendly dog, full grown at a year old. Um, <laughs> come on, Hi, honey. <laughs> what also wants to be a lap dog. Um, oh, you are cute. But one of the things Hi. that we do is we work very closely with the county shelter. So um, we work with Beaufort County and Jasper County. And, and we work with um, pulling animals from them so that, you know, obviously we can find homes for them. And it's, it's sort of a rotation then. As soon as we get them adopted, we pull more animals. And that's really helped with um, reducing the euthanasia rates in our county. So and that's really so what our mission is and has been for the last couple of years to really make Beaufort County a no-kill county. And now that we're helping our sister county in Jasper, we're determined to do the same thing with them. I love it. You're doing oh, yeah. such great work. And I think we have more we coming have too. More. We love having you on Sweet Smith. You're gonna find a home soon. Yes. I know you are. I yes. know there's somebody out there. For everyone. For okay, here we go. Come on. Yep. And hey, this Hopper. is Hopper. Oh, it's Hopper. Hopper. Hi, Hopper. I said that. I said Copper. Yes. Hi, Hopper. <laughs> and Hopper. Another beautiful yes. dog. Yes. And Hopper represents Jasper County. So that. So come here, Hop. So we just. <laughs> a little camera shy. Yeah. It's okay, honey. But Hopper. Hi. Yes. So we pulled Hopper in from Jasper yesterday, along with about um, twelve other dogs. So. And again, dogs like this are, you know, they're in really great condition. They've sometimes Beautiful. been owner relinquished and they'll find a home very quickly. So um, we're excited to be able to show Hopper today with you. Um, and if not someone coming through to adopt, then we do a, a full service transport service too. So we're partnered with a lot of organizations up and down the East Coast. So. Oh, that's great. I mean, it's amazing what goes on behind the scenes here. Let's bring in, who is this? Hey, this is Swiffer. Swiffer! <laughs> oh, how cute. Let's talk about the volunteers, too. Of course, oh, you've yes. got a great staff. 
Great. that are here full time. But you all are always in need of volunteers. We are because not only is it the shelter, but also the, um, <laughs> but also our thrift store, and we have a full service low cost clinic in Ridgeland. So there's a need for volunteers everywhere. Oh, um, and what gracious. we're really looking for are volunteers that can be a little bit more structured in their schedule. So we're reaching out to people out there that might have full-time jobs but have that morning off one or two days a week that might want to come in and help us Do medically shift. with the animals, um, exercising, feeding, or anything that's needed. But and, and we've been very successful at finding people that actually use um, the shelters, th those shifts as their workouts. I love, well, look, <laughs> look at the Franny, best, hello. It is the best kept secret for um, a workout. So they come I here and it. they, you know, they work on the animals and it's made a difference for the animals and also for the people volunteering. So if there are professional people out there that are looking for something to do and Helping a workout out. program, um, we're happy to have you here. I love it. So <laughs> much great stuff going on. Let's talk about needs. As always, I think on your website, you have a, a wish list of things that, that you can use here, Oh, yes. Right? I mean, and, and, and at any given time, that can change depending upon, you know, the animals we have here or the supplies sure. that we're out of. It's ever-changing. It's ever-changing. But, of course, you know, always it's always about the food for the animals. So it's always about wet and dry um, dog food and cat food um, and, and cleaning supplies, you know, you need every day. So it's, a, it, it's any cleaning supply, especially bleach. Um, but... I mean, even buckets and things that people never mm. think about, mops that we use and we overuse, and they, they take their toll here, they you know? Take, they, they get a good workout yep. here. I also want to give a shout out to your staff for the Facebook page. If oh. you're not a friend of the Hilton Head Humane Association's Facebook page, please do so. It's awesome, and they post the, the animals that are here and the, when they're united with a new family, and it's just, it's great stuff, and, and it, it's and, hard and, to do to keep that up. And they do, and that and thank you for saying that they're great. I mean, that's a hardworking staff. They're very enthusiastic. I mean, they are so dedicated to the animals that it's a blessing to have people that, you know, they do it because they love what they do. And if you love what you do, it really does make a difference. And boy, you feel the love here mm -hmm. at Hilton Head Humane Association. Franny, thank you. Thank you as always for all Come that back. you do. We will, and we've got to go right now. Thank okay. you all for tuning into Girl Talk. It's been a great, great episode. I'm Debbie Court, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>